When AMD showcased the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs in CES, we already knew that the new lineup of processors are going to enter the market only this year. However, the expected date for its launch was in the fourth quarter, the time when Intel is also going to launch its Raptor Lake processors. We will talk about Raptor Lake CPU's leaked performance later, so stay tuned till the end. Recently, Graymon wrote on Twitter, Zen 4 Q4 Crossmark, which obviously means that Zen 4 based Ryzen 7000 series CPUs are not going to launch in the fourth quarter. He also went ahead by writing that the plan is very different from the early days. I first thought that AMD is delaying its CPU launch to the next year. But when he was asked if the launch is in September this year, Graymon replied that it will be earlier than that. He also confirmed that Zen 5 is going to launch in 2023. Moreover, he said that AM5 motherboards will also be ready for the production samples in this month, which means that we can see the AM5 motherboards at the same time of Ryzen 7000 series launch. So AMD is planning to launch its Ryzen 7000 CPUs before the Raptor Lake from Intel. The reason for this is I believe the high performance of Intel Alder Lake processors which beat the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs made AMD worried. And before Intel captures most of the CPU market with Raptor Lake CPUs, AMD want to surprise them with better performing processors. Although we don't know how much difference will be between the two, make no mistake that AMD's Ryzen 7000 series will be built on a new architecture, unlike Raptor Lake which is kinda refresh of the Alder Lake. Ryzen 7000 series is supposedly going to feature up to 25% higher IPC gain over the Zen 3. We already know how much difference was there between Ryzen 5000 and Ryzen 3000 CPUs when AMD announced a 19% higher IPC gain over the latter. So you can expect the Ryzen 7000 CPUs to even widen that performance gap, which in other words can make the AMD a gaming king again. Ryzen 7000 series will feature stack chiplet design, just like the Ryzen 3D Vcache chips and will use both the 5 nanometer and 6 nanometer process nodes. It will support DDR5 memories natively and will come with 28 PCI E-Lane support. That means you will get up to 56 PCI lanes when combined with the AM5 chipset making upgradability massive and this means you will have higher bandwidth for the expansion cards. It is said that the Ryzen 7000 series will come with a flagship CPU that will feature up to 170 watts of TDP for which you will have to use at least a 280 mm liquid cooler. This means higher overclockability and monstrous performance, but those who want decent gaming performance can either opt for the CPUs that fall in the range of 45 to 120 watts TDP. That said, now I want to see some of its performance leak as we already have one of the Intel's Raptor Lake CPUs gaming performance leaked online. Thanks to Benchleaks on Twitter, the Raptor Lake CPU was spotted in Ashes of Singularity benchmark, where it scored 158 average FPS on minimum settings at 1080p resolution. The CPU can be seen featuring up to 32 logical and physical cores. That translates to the number of threads. It means that it is most likely going to feature 8 Raptor Core Performance Cores and 16 Gracemount Enhanced Efficiency Cores, making a total of 24 cores. So Intel is definitely stepping up its core game, which is likely going to see the result of higher cores than 16 on the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. Now, how AMD can gain advantage over the Raptor Lake is I think will be achievable through its integrated graphics. The Raptor Lake CPU isn't looking that great in its benchmark. But the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs are going to feature RDNA 2 architecture which is used in the Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. According to Graymon, Zen 4 is going to come up with 4 compute units. That translates to 256 GPU cores which will be a massive improvement over the already present iGPUs in Ryzen APUs. If this happens, casual gamers can simply go GPU-less and still have decent gaming performance. But as always, take this with a little bit of salt as we are yet to see some performance leak. So are you going to upgrade to Ryzen 7000 series CPUs or will you prefer the Raptor Lake processors? Let me know in the comments below. Also subscribe if you are new here and I will see you in the next video.